Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me saying that they've watched the video and they've watched actually the same video and they couldn't reduce the nodes. And he sent me the file in Corel X19 or Corel 2017, depending on what you want to call it. But to reduce all the nodes in any version of Corel, you grab your shape tool and you get your nodes. And this is grayed out right here in the reduce nodes. But you need to take your and lasso them all and select them all and then this becomes evident and then you can do a number of things curve smoothness and curve you can check right here and you can either one put in a number and hit enter let's back up here or you can get the slide bar and slide it and you can actually watch the node disappearing as you go now I would never go past 20 because it's going to mess up your shape quite a bit. But inside of Corel, I think it started on X8. It's got the smoothing tool, which is very cool. And since he did sent me this file in X19, I'm going to use the smoothing tool. And I've got it really too big. Let's make it like two inches. Or let's make it one inch. So it won't go past. And then you need to click on your item. And then just start smoothing out. Now let's click with the nodes. And you can already see the nodes I'm taking away. Let's put it back up a little bigger. Let's make it two inches. Since this is a good item. And let's just, okay, let's look at the nodes. And see this is where I've already smoothed and where I haven't. So let's get our smoothing tool. And let's just run over this. This is what I would always do first. The smoothing tool works very good. Uh, it's a big, big tool and a big improvement. Now, a lot of times, and you'll just see right here, when you get to a corner, let's magnif zoom in here. And if you use a smoothing tool on a corner like this, you're going to get rounded corners. If that's acceptable, then that's okay. But if it's not, just don't get, you know, get a smaller. Let's back up here. we got pretty straight corners. Let's reduce our smoothing tool to... Let's just say 0.5 inches. You have to click on it. And then you don't have to get to that corner. And then you can get your smoothing tool back. And you can see what it's actually doing. Now it's got to leave some of the nodes. And if you wanted that to be a sharp, crisp corner like this is, let's zoom in there again. And what I would do is take your shape tool and double click right there and then you've got a new node and you could actually convert this to a line and then you could delete that node and delete that node and you're going to get better of a line you can actually take this and you know if you wanted a square corner but anyway, you can do it either a couple of different ways. In the smoothing tool, I think it's in started in X8 and above. And look at the difference in the nodes. So when you don't have everything selected, it won't show up. This is grayed out. So if you click on your item, this is grayed out. I think that's his problem. You need to lasso everything, and then this pops up, and more things show up in your menu bar. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.